class in my previous video i have given you already the basic ideas of square cubes and their roots now we are going to solve exercise 3.1 question number one Using prime factorization method, find the perfect square from the following. So there are four numbers are given there, A, B, C, D. From there, I have chosen number C, 2401 number. So here, 2401 can be divided by 7, 7, 3 is a 21. Then remainder 3, 0, 7, 4 is a 28. Then 7, 3 is a 21. Then again, 3, 4, 3 can be divisible by 7. 49, 7, 7. So 2, 4, 0, 1 is a factor of 7 into 7 into 7 into 7. So 7 into 7 is 7 square. Here 7 into 7 is 7 square. So we can make it whole square. 7 into 7 whole square. 7 into 7 is 49 square. Therefore 2, 4, 0, 1 is a perfect square of 49. So similarly in that way you can try question number A, question number B, question number D. Question number six, students, express each of the following perfect square as a sum of first n odd numbers. Remember here, what did it say? n odd numbers. So we see that 36 is the perfect square of 6 square, but 6 square, we have to express it as the sum of first n odd numbers. So what are odd numbers? 1 is an odd number. 3 is an odd number, 5 is an odd number, 7 is an odd number. So, 9 is an odd number, then 11 is an odd number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9, plus 11. So here you count it here, from here starting 3, from here starting 3. So in between 5 and 7 comes the 6. So the 6 square can be expressed as the sum of 6 odd numbers, that is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11. If you see it, if you add it, you will get 36. This is how we can express the perfect square is the sum of first n odd numbers. So question number 7 is, write a Pythagorean triplet whose one number is 14. So one of the number is 14. So 2n, we know that Pythagorean triplet is 2n, n square minus 1, n square plus 1. So that means 14 is 2n, 2n is given 14, so the integer is 14 divided by 2, this 2 is going inside 7. So the other two numbers are n square minus 1, that is 7 square minus 1, that is 49 minus 1, 48. Then here, 7 square plus 1, 49 plus 1 is 50. Therefore, the Pythagorean triplet is 14, 48, and 50. This is the Pythagorean triplet. In that way, from question number 7, you can try for question number B, 7B, 7C, and 7D. Students, in question number 9, it is given without actually squaring. Find the value of the following. Here, you will have to follow the formula A square minus B square is A minus B, A plus B. So, there is a formula that 21 square minus 20 square, you need not need to square, you need not need to do anything. But what you will have to do is that 21 minus 20 into 21 plus 20. So 21 minus 20 is 1 into 21 plus 20 is 41. Therefore, your answer is 41 ones are 41. So without squaring, without squaring, you can find the value of these two square numbers, the difference of the two square numbers. The rest of the sums, you can do it. Question number B, question number C, question number D, you can do it. In this chapter, there are some interesting patterns for finding the square of some given numbers. So here, 1 square is 1. 11 square is, without multiplying, we can find out. Here, you write 1, then 1 plus 1, 2. Here, I have given 
1 plus 1, 2, then 1. The last one, you write 1. Here, 1, 1, 1 square, you can write it as 1, then 1 plus 1, 2, then 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3, then 1 plus 1, 2, then last 1. Similarly, in that way, you can find out here 1, 1, 1, 1 square. As first, you write down 1, then 1 plus 1, 2, then 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3, then 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, 4, then 3, 2, 1. That is, pattern will be 1, 1 plus 1, then 1 plus 1 plus 1, then 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, then 1 plus 1 plus 1, then 1 plus 1, then 1. Similarly, in that way, you can find out 1, 1 square, that is for your homework. So another pattern for finding the square is 11 square, we know it, 1, 2, 1, that is 1, 1 plus 1, and 1. Here, 1, 0, 1 square is 1, then 0, 1 plus 1, 2, then 0, then 1. The pattern is given here, 1, then 0, then 1 plus 1, then 0, then 1. The next one is also, if you see, 1, double 0, 1 square is 1, then double 0, then 1 plus 1, 2, then double 0, then 1. Here, 1, double 0, 1 plus 1, double 0, 1. So here, 1, triple 0, 1 square is 1, triple 0, 1 plus 1, 2, then triple 0, then 1. So the pattern is given. So you can find out at home, as a homework here, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 square is what will be the result. You can find out it as your homework. Stay home, stay safe, do it for yourselves, do it for your family, do it for India. Let's break the chain of COVID-19. Come home here, come here. Jai Hind.